Hello YouTube, this is Pink Blood Designs and I am going to be showing you how to do a wrap around text in Photoshop. Uh, basically you can use this technique to wrap around anything, any kind of picture, image, uh, shape, anything uh, and you can like have text flowing along um, that path. Now basically we're going to start, well no you don't need any like just follow what I do. You don't have to be in advance. It's just very simple. Very, very simple. So you create your canvas. Uh, I really don't care what my canvas is right now because I'm not doing anything specific. But for you guys, you just make the selections of whatever you're working with. I'm just going to zoom in here a bit just so that you guys can get a clearer view. Now over here on my left hand side, I'm going to go to my tools panel. Now my tools panel, I'm going to select the pen tool. If you don't have the pen tool, just click on this one below the um, below the dodge tool um, and click on it and um, click on pen tool. And then you go ahead and you just start creating a path. That's for the sake of Valentine's Day, I shall create a heart for you people and a very <laughs> ugly heart but it's a heart nonetheless now um, I'm gonna go to my text tool now here that's where you go ahead and you make up your adjustments pick your font pick your text size pick your color I'm gonna go a nice little red for you guys and um, you just hover over your path make sure your path is selection selected hover over your path and you just go ahead and start typing now I'm just gonna start where you can start wherever it is that you want. So I'm just gonna start typing there. My stupid keyboard when I'm typing I accidentally I guess hit on the mouse and it keeps going in all directions. Um so bear with me. You can fill up your text, your heart, with whatever text it is that you want. Uh, I don't even know what to fill mine out. My text is my other one. And there. Now you see up here where your little thingy got messed up and meh, and it's kind of squished together right there. Now you can go ahead and start doing like stuff like uh, spacing so that you can get it in the right direction and all that. Now if you want this coming inwards, um, go to your, your path selection tool which is right here in your toolbar and click on it. Now you go to your path and you can go ahead and start, make sure it's your text path. And you can start moving this. If you want it to flow inward, all you have to do is hover over it. Once it's over one of the little circles with the X or the open square, like the run right here, hover over it and just push it inwards. Oh, I moved it. Push it inwards. And then though you'll have it coming inside or push it outwards and there you have it. You can also use this to move around your text kind of thing, but you have to be extra careful since uh if you go past the X, this is the X. If you go you can move it, move it, move it. But once you reach uh the little circle icon, uh it disappears. So don't fright and just pass the little circle this little circle and it'll come back. So, um, you can start moving that, and that's how basically you create a text warp around tool kind of thing. Now, if you want to go ahead and, um, unselected, you'll see it, it kind of didn't go. I should have just moved, like, my text over here, go to my text, and then I'm just going to go backspace, 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 
and I accidentally did my exclamation point. And then this one you can also do backspace and kind of do a whole YouTube piece of that. It's my heart was a mess from the start, so it totally sucks. So I'm just gonna type in round one. So you can get the kind of the full effect of it. Why should you be penalized for my lack of words? And then round one. So kind of like you get the gifs, gifs, uh, gifs of it, right? Uh, pen selection tool. You kind of like move it to kind of make it the way you want it. And uh, move it inwards, outwards, kind of like there, uh, kind of things. Like you know how basically it is. You have to do your alterations. I'm not gonna go into complete detail on that because I'd be here talking for like ever. Anyways, now how to create a swirly line text kind of thing, an open path uh, text. All you have to do is get your pen. Create the little swirly thingy, go to your text, you do the exact same things, hover over it, and just go ahead and type in. And that's how you get the little curvature thingy, the little lines. Again, you can just go ahead in here. Since this one's an open path, you'll kind of see a lot clearer the X and the O. The one that I kept trying, having difficulties over here in a closed path. But And the same thing applies. You just move it, move it. A downwards uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. And that's it. And if you guys have like uh, more text that you can fit just move in your your thingy over here up and then just move your circle to the side and just kind of like follow the lines you can all do multiple ones if you want like if I wanted to create another just click off do so like my thingy is and then just come back here and work on it again and start typing Oops. Start typing random stuff. And that's it. So I hope this helped you out. Again. Helped you, out, you guys out. Uh, sorry, I forgot to speak. Forgot to speak for the for the, for a minute. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see anything else, uh, just let me know in the comment box below. And y'all have a good day.